Before this movie was released, the filmmakers definitely made a Christmas wish hoping that this one would actually be good. Lucky for their asses, it was granted. A very Harold and Kumar Christmas 3D adventure extravaganza da da da. I'm just gonna say this movie, I'm not saying that title again. This movie follows the story of Harold and Kumar, you know those two, uh, they've grown apart. Kumar's still a pot smoking man child and Vanessa has left him now and Harold has settled down with a wife, he lives in a house. He works on Wall Street and all this nice stuff, he's rich. Long story short, Harold and Kumar get reunited and they have to get a new Christmas tree because the first one burned down. Otherwise, the Christmas is going to be terrible. That's a pretty weak plot. <laughs> the first two Harold and Kumar movies, I really didn't like. The first one I thought was completely stupid. And the second one was slightly better, but... It was, it was still really, really stupid. I didn't laugh all that much in either movie, and... I just found the main characters to be quite annoying, frankly. It was different this time around. The guys who play them, they're so used to these roles that they can just get into characters so well and then just keep playing them. I'm sure they could play them for 10 more movies. I hope that doesn't happen, but I'm sure they could. That goes for Neil Patrick Harris, too. Neil Patrick Harris in this movie is the best part of the movie. And I'm extremely upset because he's marketed on the poster, he's marketed all over, and he's in it for two minutes. You don't put someone on the poster of a movie to have him be in it for two minutes. You just don't. The two minute part he was in was the funniest part of the movie. He should have been in it a lot more than he was. Harold's friend is the one who has the drug addicted baby. That was the weakest running gag I've seen in a while. I hated that gag so much. The way things happen with it, I, I didn't like it. I just didn't. I've been listening to myself and it sounds like I'm, I really didn't like it. I actually did like the movie a lot more than I thought I would. The thing I loved about it was the self-awareness. Like, the shots at 3D, the allusion to a fourth one, the knowing that they're in a movie, things like that. I love that. I was consistently laughing most of the time. There were a few parts where I just like stopped laughing like little five minute things, but other than that, I was laughing consistently. This is definitely the best of the three Harold and Kumar movies, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to introduce a new rating because this has happened to me quite a few times over the past couple of months. I keep flip-flopping medium and large popcorn. So I'm going to create a rating called Medium Large, and I already have a few other movies I can stick in there, because there were a few movies that I kept flip-flopping with that I just couldn't decide, and I just like, I flipped the coin or just decided on the spot in my head which one I wanted to give it, and I don't really like that. I'm going to give this movie a Medium Large Popcorn. It's in the mi it's better than a Medium Popcorn, but it's not quite a Large Popcorn, if that makes sense. I would suggest to go see it. It's the better comedy that came out this weekend. It wasn't as disappointing as Tower Heist, so... I suggest you go see it. So you guys looking forward to Harold and Kumar? Are you pot smokers? I, don't answer that actually. Don't why did I ask that? Don't answer that. Please don't. I don't want to know. Are you gonna see the movie or not gonna see it? Do you hate these movies for being so stupid? I used to. This one was better though. I promise it is. Write your beautiful comments down there and tell me what you think. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button up there, because if you don't, 3D smoke. <laughs>